no, it happened again. What did? It doesn't <gasps> work. Oh. oh, yeah, it isn't going to work. Too bad. It was looking so pretty. Sorry if I startled you. It's just my computer crashed again, and it's really old. It's dying a little every day. I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. No, nothing. My computer. Look, never mind. I just didn't mean to scare you. Oh, it's all right. But, Andre, I think it'd be a good idea for you to get a hobby. Something that can help you to... Uh... It's Clara. Uh, something that can help you be more... Hey, Clara, what on earth is all that noise? I'm trying to work here. More relaxed, no? Oh, come on! No, it's not here. Did you We're hear here. me, Clara? I need to finish this project There's for work. Oh. And all this racket's really distracting me, Clara. Clara? I'm sorry, Dad. I was just looking around for a book. And you need to turn your whole room upside down to do that? No, she hasn't turned it upside down. Clara's room has been like this for five days now. And I already told her I'm not going to fix it. Mom, I already said this is how I like to organize my room. If it's so organized, why can't you find your book? Baby, this is your responsibility. It's your bedroom and your belongings. That's right, Clara. Keeping your room clean is your responsibility. Do you see this here? This is so you remember to clean your room every single day. I'm tired of telling you. Ow! Dad, it's just a book. You're too stressed out. I think we need to get you something to help you to... Relax a bit? Hey, look! I just found the book that I was looking for! <laughs> Stick love, now you can start cleaning up this mess. Now's a great time to show us the responsible and mature young lady that I know you really are. Fine, I'll do it, I'll clean it. I've missed you so much, little Rosetta. Fabulous space. My gosh, this is so exciting. A camp just for math. Wow. Don't make fun of it, G. It's important to me. And it's not just a camp for studying math. Wait, it's worse? <gasps> a camp for math and for physics? No, it's a camp exclusively for math geniuses. A place where all of the best math students from all the schools across the country are taken there. You know something? It's my dream. But there's a test, and they say it's supposed to be super hard. Ah, okay, but that should be a piece of cake for you, genius. Yeah, but after school activities can also count towards earning points. Oh, well then you're in luck. Tomorrow the school's gonna announce all the extra classes they're adding. I know. Do you think we'll have chess? Or a level five programming class? Or maybe a class about string theory? Ugh, none of those, Valen. It says here that the point is to diversify, doing things you normally don't do. Mm, we're going to start you with playing some soccer. <laughs> Catch this! I can get it! <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if you're a good goalie. Oh, uh, you and soccer don't go together, girl. I am done with this. I can't do it. I guess I just wasn't made for this. <laughs> you're right, Commander Valentina. Maybe poetry is more your style. Yeah? You think? That's awesome! I do it all the time, and I rhyme! <laughs> <laughs> oh. hmm. All right, this goes here. Organize, fold these clothes, you in the closet, this in the trash. Hmm, let's do this. It's beautiful, baby. Hmm, almost... What's that? I don't have a box to put these things away. Can I please have some money to buy a cute little box for them, Mom? Tomorrow I'll go to the store. Uh. Hey, watch it. You could have hurt somebody. Aw, oh, but I didn't hurt you, right? Aw, oh, relax, buddy. Get yourself a nice bike like this and your life will be a lot more relaxed. Huh? Hmm. Ah! Ah! Oh, come on, what was that for? I scared you. I'm sorry. I just saw the cutest little thing of the cutest little things in the whole entire world. Me? Of course not. It's that adorable little dog. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he too cute? I want him. I want him for myself. I'm going to take him home. He's very cute. But your parents will never let you keep him, Clara. Oh, why wouldn't they? 
I'm gonna ask them myself. Mm, I don't know. Having a dog is a lot of work. You have to take really good care of it. That's all right, huh? I'm fully capable of taking good care of something. He's way too cute, baby. He looks like he's trying to talk to us. And he is. He's trying to tell you, take me home, please. Please take me home. Oh, baby, when you decide you want something, you... I'm not the only one who wants it. He wants it, and so do you. Just look at his face, Mama. Oh, <laughs> he's just too cute. <laughs> Clara, you forgot this in front of the pet shop. What's that, baby? The box that I bought to store the things in my room. The box that I gave you money to buy? You left it in the street? Um, uh, anyway, Clara, I gotta go. I'm late for something. Uh, anything, actually. Bye! Yeah, I just forgot it. I'm sorry. But back to Ozzy. What Ozzy? Him, the dog. Baby, we can't get a dog. Even Ozzy, no. But you just fell in love with him over this picture, Mom. Until Giovanna showed up with a box you forgot. And that reminded me that you aren't even responsible enough to take care of your own room or your things, much less a living dog. But please, Mom. And there's this one. Great, banjo class level three. And then this one. Creative writing and poetry. And all these other ones right here. Valentina, it's great that you're taking extra classes, but don't you think you may be overdoing it? Uh, learning is never overdoing it. Variety is great. Mm, I don't know. I think it's quite a lot to handle, even for a girl like you. What's up, Dad? Is that a present? Yep. Well, then I'll open it. No, sweetheart. This gift is for me. For me, from me. And what did you give to yourself? A bicycle. A bicycle you have to put together? Yeah, that's the beauty of it. Weren't you and your mother telling me a few days ago that I needed to find a nice hobby for relaxing? That's right. Riding a bike is a pretty good hobby. And so's building yourself a bicycle. This goes right here, and now yes, this like this, and I think it's done. Well, it looks like you really know what you're doing. <laughs> 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 or not. Well, I think you're going to take some time to figure this all out. I'll be in my room. If you need anything, call me. What is this, Mom? Is it a present? Yeah. Oh, let me open it, Mom. Go on, baby, open it. I can't it. believe it. I can't believe it. He's not even real. But he's still a pretty real looking dog. You can take care of him through this phone app. I'll go ahead and put it on your phone. Mm-hmm. That's great. But you actually have to take care of him. If not, he'll die, baby. He'll die? But how? It's not even like he's a real dog. Aw, oh, I'm too late and I missed the surprise. What a shame. It's a test of your responsibility, baby. If everything goes well, your father and I may reconsider the idea of buying you a real living dog. That's right, but you have to take very good care of him. It's easy. You just have to follow the instructions on the app. But you have to take care of him all by yourself. We're not going to help you. Okay, that sounds really cool. Everything is written on your phone. You're going to have to walk him, make sure to feed him, and put him to bed. It's all right there. And I think you should start right now. Right now? I don't know what to do. Sweetheart, if you want a real dog, you need to know what to do with it. Hurry and go get your phone. Go ahead, sweetie. to clean the court. <sighs> Balls in their places. Uh. And then she said that she only wanted to buy two types of ribbons after she had been loitering here for three hours looking through them. <laughs> <laughs> Take this. <laughs> okay, three hours, huh? Interesting. Tell me more about that. Does he bite? No, G. He's a robot dog. Robo dog. Ah! A robot dog that barks 
walks and eats. I bet he can even bite, too. No, he's really sweet and easy to deal with. And he's also my fastest ticket to Ozzy. Who? Oh, Ozzy. The cute real dog that I'm gonna get after I take really good care of this robo-dog. <laughs> well, it looks like the fake little doggy here is going a little crazy now. <gasps> I wonder what he wants. Uh-huh. It's bedtime. Wow, that was so fast. <laughs> That's awesome. So what do we do now? Wait until he wakes up. Well then, sometime later, I finally finished building a bicycle. <laughs> That's awesome, Andre. You really did it. It took forever, but there was no stress. What are those pieces? Who knows? Spares? Extra pieces they sent, I'm sure. <laughs> That's great. I'm going to buy some ingredients for a new recipe I'm testing out. Be back soon. Uh, 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 uh. What a shame. Get that one, Gully! Uh, uh, do it again. I can get it. Then uh, here! Uh, uh, go. One more. Isn't it better to stop? You're obviously exhausted, Valen. Mm hmm? No. I can get it. Yeah, Valen, you've taken on too much. You don't need to be doing so many things. Math geniuses still need to be alive and awake in order to get into the mathematics camp, don't they? Ah, uh, again? It's my robo-dog. He needs some love and attention to keep living. And I promised to help my teacher put up some new material on the blackboard. A couple? That's a lot of material. <sighs> he wants more petting? Again? Oh, what a needy pet. Petting, petting, that's it. Hmm. Pee-pee? Again? Uh. This robot is driving me crazy. I can't do it anymore. Uh, I'll help you. Walking dogs is one of the suggested activities that was listed for mathematical geniuses. Geez, I'm starting to think those geniuses are superheroes. What about the test, Valen? Did you already do it? Look, I'll pet him a little tomorrow, Valen can walk him, and we can do it together. Thank you, G. But let's keep this between us, okay? My parents keep insisting that I have to take care of this robo-dog by myself. Well, then we have to be careful. If they told you that, then... I don't know about this, Clara. They can get mad if they find out we're helping you. It'll be fine, guys. You guys are like my sisters. We're all family. They'll understand. Of course, G. I don't know what I would do without you guys. Come back here. <laughs> 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 and now it's done, all together, and with all of its pieces. <sighs> and now I have to deal with that stinking flat tire. I can figure this out. <sighs> there we go. <clears throat> huh. Oh, no. Math Geniuses Camp, admission test. Actually, this test looks pretty easy. Let's do it. I actually really like seeing my little Clara take such great care of this little cute doggy. Robo dog. Robo dog? No, oh, you really should have picked out something a little cuter to call it, sweetie. Very soon, I think that we'll be able to have that conversation about getting you a real dog. <laughs> That's great, Mom. Hopefully we don't take too long so no one will buy Ozzy from the pet shop. Fine, I'll talk to your father. Now I need to go out for a second, but I'll be back very soon. 
take it. Then give him to G so he can get some petting. Thanks a lot, Balin. It's all good, Clara. You know that we're here to help you. Huh? What's going on? Oh, Clara, baby. What a disappointment. But why do you think it went bad? You've never done badly on a test. I don't know. I guess I wasn't paying enough attention and... So then you <gasps> called your friends to come and help you? <laughs> but, Dad, I thought it would be okay if they just helped out a little bit. But the rule was that you would do everything by yourself. Yeah, we were very clear. And now, you're not getting a real dog at all. No, just a few big dogs. Huh? You're gonna get me a dog even after all this? A big one? A couple of dogs? No, you're gonna walk Nalanda, Brutus, and Biggie, and some other dogs from the condominium every afternoon. What? But why? It's a lesson, sweetheart. A way for you to remember that you lied to us both, and that you need to take responsibility for that. I already spoke to their owners, okay? Yeah, I have no choice, right? Everything's okay, Clara, but I don't think that this time we're gonna be able to help you. You're gonna have to walk those monsters all alone. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Moment of truth, ladies. Today, they'll be posting the results for the people chosen to attend the mathematics camp. Well, I'm sure that you made it in easily, Valen. <gasps> but I didn't. Why not? You did all the best extracurricular activities. But I failed the test. But you never do badly on tests. Well, the truth is that I didn't actually finish the test. I fell asleep. Well, next year you can take it again, right? Maybe next time you should listen to us and take easier activities. I told What's you that? you were overdoing it. Na na ni na no, na na ni I wanna see When I speak my mind, all the things I can be Na na ni na no, na na ni I wanna see When I speak my mind, all the things I can be You told a lie, you just lied And I told you not to lie with your parents Now who knows how things will be? I didn't lie, I didn't fib, I just forgot to tell them That my friends helped me out with Robo Doggy, so tell them Na na ni na no, na na ni I wanna see When I speak my mind, all the things I can be Na na ni na no, na na ni I wanna see When I speak my mind, all the things I can It's just the same as a lie, like if you purposely said it Admit the fault is all yours, or you'll just fall where you're headed Don't even change the subject, that's not even the point Don't forget you fell asleep and failed your test, that's the point Na na ni na no Stop it! Ladies, stop it! Stop it right now! You guys don't have to fight about this! Clara was very wrong when she abandoned her responsibility and asked us to take care of it. I guess her parents knew what they were doing when they decided to buy her that robo-dog. It was a test, and she failed it. Clara definitely needs to be more responsible with her things. But on the other hand, Valentina took on way too many responsibilities for a girl her age. All of that just to get into that math camp, even though we all warned her that it was too much. So much that she even passed out during the test. I'm just saying, everyone was wrong here. But you two don't need to fight about it, guys. That friendship you guys share was never on the line at any point in time, was it? You're right. I'm sorry, Clara. I was just mad about the whole camp situation. It's okay. I was also mad about everything that happened in my house. Still friends? Always. Glittering ball! I knew that you'd get this eventually. And it took a long time, but I feel much more That's relaxed. That's great! But you should be even more relaxed after you're done riding. Riding? What do you mean? Well, riding the bike, right? You spent all this time putting it together. <laughs> I don't know how to ride a bicycle. Didn't I ever tell you that? No way. I thought bike riding was the hobby you picked out so you could relax a bit. <laughs> no, building a bicycle was the hobby. <laughs> Aha, but we need to do something with it now that we've got it. <sighs> I was thinking, Valen. 
why don't you just come with me to my Grandma Alexandra's house for the summer? Yeah? I just need to ask my parents. <laughs> we won't be talking about mathematics or physics at all. Come on. But we do have some great cornbread. Mm, delicious. And we've got homemade hot bread. Mmm, you sound like a salesperson. Is it fine if Clara comes too? <laughs> if she comes back safe and in one piece from walking those giant dogs. <laughs> <laughs> And now we need to let this dough from my 72-hour rye bread sit and rest right here for just a few minutes. In silence. You just rest there, my pretty. Now it's time to dream. Mom, I just wanted to ask... Later, my little Clara. Right now, my dough needs to dream to the rhythm of this song. But all I want... Well, why don't you go talk to your father? Mm. Uh, uh, mm. Hey, Daddy. I just found the prettiest little red purse. I was wondering if maybe... Dad? Sweetie, can I give you a call in a couple of minutes? I really need to finish this. I'm sorry. It's all right. Just forget it. It isn't important. I almost finished it. Can I sign the plaster? Mm-hmm. What's wrong? <laughs> this is bitter, disgusting, horrible. I'm sorry. And you still haven't finished my homework? Gosh, uh, what is taking so long? <laughs> Hurry up, the class is about to start. Uh, Hello? Hi, Camille. Hello? Come you on, okay? hold it right. I can't hear it all. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Ah, huh? Did you guys hear about Purple hurting her arm? Was it on the end of the stage? Oh, yeah. Too bad, she is plastered. Poor girl. Thank you all for being so sweet. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> ah, the good life. Life at the top is just too good. Woohoo! Hi, my dear Jonathan. Hi, my top girl. I have some wonderful news for you. <gasps> Really? Oh, how great! Run it over and I'll explain it personally. Mm, run? What? What's wrong? Is there a problem? A problem? <laughs> no, no! No, not at all. Uh, darn it! Uh, darn it! Let me just write it down here before I forget. All right, just a couple more days. Goodness, <laughs> this is my longest culinary project ever. Hmm, and it's one of the funniest ones, right? What do you mean? Uh, it's just funny, you know? No, no, I don't. Well, what I meant, it's really good for your fans. More interesting for them than anyone else. Uh, Marsha, you've outdone yourself with this one. I'm still laughing about it. Ha 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 ha. Your recipes are always very funny. <sighs> I guess they think I'm more of a comedian than a chef, huh? And that's bad? Hmm. Good question. Ay, 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 ay. Where did this girl run off to? Hey there. <gasps> oh. I'm here. My goodness, girl. I was here pulling out my wonderfully beautiful hair. What took you so long? Oh, I just had a minor little setback. But go on, tell me the news. My love, prepare yourself to get even more famous. I just closed a deal on the most amazing campaign. Printed media, billboards, television commercials, and all national. Woohoo! A commercial on national television? Finally! Finally! I deserve it. I deserve it! Woohoo! Ow. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Camille, my darling girl, you're gonna be the new sporty girl! The sporty girl? The sporty girl?
sporty girl, huh? <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Oh, Claire, I came as fast as I could. Oh. Valen told me what Does happened. Does it hurt a lot, girl? <gasps> so much. Look, there's your mom. Baby. Hello, girls. Hi. Hi. What happened, Clara, sweetie? Did you get hurt? Yes. What happened? Oh, Mama, I fell on my arm. I think I'm gonna need a cast. Ow! Oh, how amazing! What are you talking about, crazy girl? Oh, she's gonna end up just like purple. We're gonna go. Feel better, okay? I will. Let's go, G. Oh, if you can choose the color, can you pick pink? Hey, hold up, Balan! Does it hurt when you move it? A lot. Is it swollen? Oh, yeah. Hmm. It doesn't look so serious. Ow! Be careful, Mom! Goodness! If it hurts this much, maybe we should take you to the doctor. I know. Uh, that way, they can give me a cast. You're lucky you won't need a cast after all, right, Clara? Yeah, but I can barely move it. I won't be able to do a single thing with it. Yes, 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 but thankfully it was only a small blow. It won't be very long before you can use it again. But not too soon, right? I'm the clown chef, <laughs> the funny chef, the hilarious chef. Oh, how horrible. What was that? Oh, hi. I thought you'd already left for work. I did, but I came back to bring you this. Oh, my love. <laughs> you shouldn't have. Mmm, so delicious. Some lavender to inspire new ideas. Mm. Mm. <laughs> You're thinking that maybe I should give up cooking too, huh? Of course I don't. You are and always will be my favorite chef. Mm, and you will always be my favorite liar. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you know what? I think maybe I do need to find some new hobbies for myself. You have my full support. Like I've always said, what's important is the process. Hmm. See you later, my love. I've got it. <laughs> Since I'm going to have this beautiful day all to myself, oh, I have a great idea. I'm going to start growing my own herbs and vegetables, all healthy and fresh by myself. From now on, everything from my recipes will be fresh and organic. Uh, 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 an aromatic organic garden, that's what's my future. And I don't know what happened because she won't answer well, any of my Well, here she tasks. comes and she has something on her arm. Hmm? Clara, where's the pink cat? From what I can tell, it wasn't too bad, huh? Hello, ladies. Okay, what happened? What did the doctor say? It was only a little strained, but almost serious. Woo! How lucky! Oh, that's too bad. Girl, you are crazy. Exactly what planet are you living on? Huh? What's the matter? Is it a sin to want to have a say in my friend's cast color? Can I just not respond? There's no colored cast, but I do have this thing to keep me from moving it. Oh, I love it! Your arm is basically bionic. It's cool, huh? Are you serious? Wait until it's finished. But soon, you'll be able to do it all by yourself. Can you please write this down for me, G? <laughs> oh, of course, girly. <laughs> and after the potato, here's a little piece of meat. Um. <laughs> okay, here's your natural juice, girl. Hurry up, the bell's ringing and we need to go back. All done. And here's the page mm. you stopped on. Thank you very huh? much, girls. That's it, beautiful. You're doing fantastic, Camille. Just put your chin up a bit. That's it, that's it, right there. That's the shot. Marvelous. Camille was the perfect oh, choice for this. Perfect, it's beautiful, Camille. Yes, yeah, she's perfect. 
All right, guys, we got all the shots we need. Camille, you're perfect, all right? I know. Marvelous! Now let's go to the park to do the outside shots. Outside? Uh... How beautiful! Let's get you into the dirt. All done, my lovelies. Oof, mission completed. Oh, my little organic herb garden is so pretty. Uh, uh, oh, hey, those are my seeds. Come back here, you hungry vultures. More. Here you go. Open that little mouth. Mm. Mama, can you answer that for me? Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Marcia. Is everything good? Everything's great. How about you? Well, Clara just got picked for a casting. Really? Yes, a national campaign. Well, gosh, how amazing. Yes, yes. The casting is this afternoon. Oh, you know what? The thing is, Clara actually fell and hurt her arm, so she can't oh, move it. Oh, I had it. no idea she can't come. I'm afraid not. Oh, my gosh. Too yeah, bad. so sad, oh, right? Shame. Well, maybe next uh, time then, huh? Of course, it's all good. Give her Certainly, one my dear. Bye. What did he want, Mom? They wanted to test you for a really big commercial, but with your arm like that, you can't. Aww. Just a little more, my baby. Open wide, open up. No. I lost my appetite. Aww. One more star right here and put some glitter here, G. Can I help? Probably not. That sling is just going to get in the way, and we have to be really precise. Oh, okay. Oh, I love that color. Yes, it's looking really pretty, isn't it? Super. Lay some fresh compost once a week and offer them sweet words twice a day. Oh, how adorable. Cutie, cutie, cutie. Grow strong, my darlings. Mommy's right here. A little water every day, and a tiny bit of sunlight. And now we are all done, my beauties. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, no! <laughs> well, it used to be an organic herb garden. Just one game, G. I need to study the new material. It's getting heated in here, let's go! Whoa! Get it. My gosh, how strong! Let's see if the little lady can get this one. <laughs> Calm down with all that noise, girl. Hey there, are you having fun? Oh, this is the most fun day of all the fun days I've ever had in my whole life. But it's not. This makeup is gonna be amazing on you. Just trust me. Look, girl, you're gonna be beautiful. <gasps> Your lips are perfect. You're so beautiful, Camille. I know. What a beautiful day, huh? I really love this location. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be amazing. amazing! My top. We're gonna start on some skates. Jonathan already told the clients that you're basically a professional skater, so that'll be perfect, you know? <coughs> What's wrong with you? Is everything okay? Everything's awesome. I need more velocity, Camille. This is a motion shot. Go! Don't stop! Don't stop! No! You skate a lot, and we just want to bring that into the shot, oh. so I really need you not to stop oh. here. Oh. Remember, this is a sporty campaign, and the client's here watching. Show them that you know your stuff. Where's that smile? Come on, where's that twinkle in your eyes? Uh, what's going on here, Jonathan? Uh... I don't have the slightest idea. Just give me a second. Zach! Let's give her a little second. My love, may I please speak with you? Is there maybe something I should know? Anything you want to tell me? Oh, uh, maybe. Woohoo! You can bow down to the champion, girl. Two champions, two champions. I made two goals. <laughs> oh, Valen, you sweat through your shirt, literally. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Don't listen to her. Silly balance goals were kind of lucky shots, basically, you know. Your spot is guaranteed, girl. That's great. What is it that's great? 
Um, nothing. I mean, well, a dip in the pool. What do you think? Right now. I'm in. But I'm out. <laughs> Persistence is determination in the form of an organic herb garden. Look at how pretty, my love. Goodness, this is just beautiful. Congratulations, my love. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. I could imagine. My gosh, they look so fresh. Well cared for, they keep smelling better and better. Mmm, smells great. And that one is... Different, huh? Ow! Ow! Can you explain this one? Great question! Organic herb garden. Just another joke. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to lose the job. Never again, you hear me? You will never lie to me again, young lady. It wasn't a lie. I just didn't tell you. Oh, please don't play games, girl. And be careful, very careful, because you're still on thin ice here. Extremely thin ice, I'd say. Fine, all right. I was wrong. I admit it. You were, and you jeopardized Glitter's reputation. Not to mention your safety. Fine, fine. It was bad. Just bad? It was horrible. You want to know something else? You young lady, you've been removed from the pictures and from the TV commercials. No! No! Yes! Yes! And you're lucky because the client's still using some of your close-ups for the magazines. Uh, I can't believe this! Let this be a lesson to you, Camille. Lies don't travel far, but they always catch you eventually. Mm, I think it's a little short, Dad. Maybe just a little. Why not try it on? Oh my, what a shame. Well, I guess you have no choice but to wait till your arm gets better. Oh no. You can do this, Clara. I think it's time I tell you guys the truth. Clara. What did I get by making up this lie about my arm? Or better yet, what did I lose? I missed out on the coolest job. Really great fun moments with my best friends in the whole world. And in reality, it just taught me that lying doesn't help anyone. And really, who needs to break her arm just so she can get some attention? Baby? Is everything okay? Did something happen? Yeah, something did. And that's it. I made it all up because I wanted more attention. I wanted to feel a little special. <sighs> More special than you already are? It was stupid, I know. Your parents can't be perfect. If you think we aren't giving you enough attention in the future, just tell us and we can talk about it. Is that a deal? It's a deal. One more little thing. Look, my love, your health is a serious matter and you shouldn't joke about it. You can't just go around making up illnesses. It's very dangerous. I'm sorry, Dad. I was wrong, but I promise I learned this lesson all by myself. Is this good, Camille? It's strawberry. Well, answer it for me already! Hi, Camille asked me to answer for her? She's there? Yes. Tell her the doctor called. Sure. She needs to wear the sure. cap for three more weeks. Okay, I'll let her know. They gave me a message from your doctor. Really? Oh, how great. Go on, talk! You're gonna need to keep your cast on for three more weeks, they said. <gasps> No! No! Uh, I oh. think someone's calling hey, me. Yeah, where are you I think going? I have some homework Come to do. Come back here! Come back here! Uh, <sighs> this dough is so good. It's so nice and fluffy. Ah! <sighs> hey, ladies! I'm back! Clara! Clara! My gosh, I'm so happy you can take your old spot back. Really? I thought you were having fun. Mm, handball is fun, but I think I prefer kung fu. Just a second, just a second. Clara can come back and play on the team, but only under one condition. What? Only if we can all have some of that amazing herb bread that Marsha made for everybody. Oh my gosh! 
I think that can happen. Mom, how on earth did you get that award? Uh, forget about it. It was silly. No, tell us. Tell them, sweetheart. Uh, uh, okay, okay. But promise you won't laugh. You promise? It's, it's a deal. deal. Uh, I beat the culinary world record. What do you mean? Well, it's just that uh, my lovely 72-hour herb bread... Well, it was the only one to take 96 hours to cook through, and that's it. Seriously? Hey, careful there. You promised not to laugh at me. <laughs> 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 oh, it's like that, huh? Well, no more bread for any of you. We're so sorry, uh, Mom. We're, oh, we're sorry. sorry. No. Um, we're sorry. <laughs> 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 I love this family so much. Eight million tons of oil thrown into the oceans on a regular basis? How horrible! And all of that just left out there, poor little ocean animals. The gas is poured into the atmosphere. The glaciers are melting away because of global warming. The world definitely needs me, and right now. My gosh, I'm so thirsty today. Can I have another cup of water? Mm, mm. I'm sorry, Zach, but I really need to tell you. Stop it! What's wrong? What did I do, Zach, huh? Zach, each time you drink water, you waste a plastic cup. Here, use this cup here, and stop wasting cups, okay? Okay. Plastic takes about 100 years to decompose, you know? I meant to tell you. Listen, I'm going to move a couple things over here, okay? Wow, that's great. What's that? What are those graphics for? It's part of our plan to win a certificate for ecologically aware agencies. Fashion and environmentalism? That's amazing. On my honor. In just a short amount of time, I swear that Glitter Model will be a model for all agencies. I'm just going to need some help from you guys. Of course. You can count on me, Jonathan. I'll help you. I'm going to go tell the models, okay? That's the spirit. They will love it. In addition to the conscientious use of things, I've thought of a few other things to get families more involved in the agency. Great, you're inspired. Would you like to hear some of my ideas? Zach, are you gonna suggest reusing all those cups you just threw away? <laughs> <laughs> so? Fine, we can talk about it later. Now, tell me about this whole Jonathan thing again, Clara. What do you mean we can talk about it later? We only need a little more money, and then we can buy our telescope. It's one of our dreams. No. Um, yeah, but my dream right now is to finish hearing Clara's story. Tell me again, uh, Clara. You heard it. This week mm -hmm. is for the family of the new face G. That's right. So then, it's been three months since I joined the agency. And to commemorate that, Jonathan invited my family and my best friends ever to come spend the week there to learn a couple of really cool things. Huh? I can't even believe this is real. I'm going to learn how to walk down the catwalk like a professional model. <gasps> oh, Madam Giovanna, little Miss Professional Model, can you please sit down? For today's class, we'll also learn about models. The model of an animal cell. And the thing that's really going to be a huge success is going to be the pointy tip boots from Braga. Luxurious. Lovely, pretty, super beautiful, totally brilliant. And absolutely hip. Hey, I already ordered mine through a European site. It was the last pair and it's all sold out everywhere else. No, I won't lend them out. But, since I'm such a good friend, I'll let you guys know as soon as the boots are back in stock in stores. Oh, everything's ready to welcome the families of our future top models. I'm really starting to think this was a brilliant idea. Oh, but what is that? What is that? Why is there a bunch of papers scattered on the floor? Jonathan! Now we're ready. We're gonna recycle everything. Are you ready to work in a totally new agency? Glitter's gonna be a completely new agency, okay? With a certificate in environmentalism. But before that, we're gonna need to make a couple of adjustments here. 
Remember to turn the lights off before you leave when there's no one else left in the room. We will start using recycled water to clean the floors. We'll substitute all of the plastic cups and we'll begin using LED light bulbs to save energy. Everything's done with a sustainable consciousness. All right, now our agency is definitely ready to win that certificate for environmental awareness and to help with preserving the planet. And now I officially declare the opening of the new face week. It's gonna be a very intense week. That Giovanna is so funny, she thinks she's a celebrity. Look, she's so pretty. Jonathan, just look at Clara's mom modeling. <laughs> I can see Marsha's really into it. Well, <laughs> she's got her own unique style. <laughs> you said it, a style all of her own. Oh, I think that Clara must have gotten all of her charisma from her. That's very good, guys. The week dedicated to the family of the new face is officially open. And now you will all get to see a professional model shooting some real pictures. Come with me and I will explain some more details. Camille, I need less pout and more smiles. Right there. I already know, Zach. You said it a thousand times. You're gorgeous. Lift your chin a bit. Great, Camille, that's great. As you all know, so this is where our new models are photographed. I think you all already know Camille. Duh, of course we all know her. Shh, let him talk, G. Yes, Commander Valentina. Right now, she's shooting our newest trend for the winter. Jonathan, you're not explaining it well enough for the newbie and her little friends to understand. They probably don't even have any idea about what a trend is. Uh, what? What did that girl just say? A trend is a prediction that people in modeling make about what will be popular, and it can be clothes or accessories. This dress that Camille has on, for example. A complete look from Vivian Rosanova. Wonderful trend. Just let it go, G. No, Valen. It's one thing to say that I don't know anything about physics. Which you really don't get at all. No. And that's fine. But another completely different thing is to say I don't get trendiness. Me! She wasn't talking about you, G. She said that about all of us. Well, that's even worse. Because the three of us are ultra hyper mega knowledgeable about all trends everywhere. I would just let it go. Who really cares about trends anyways? In all honesty, me. And when I think about it, G is right. That was over the line. We'll show Camille what we know and what we don't know about trends. Just wait. Another huge trend of ours is to maintain our model's books online. That's great. Then you don't waste as much paper. That's right. Or plastic. Did you know that plastic takes about 100 years to decompose? How great. I knew that. But weren't you going to talk to us about the 10 steps a new face takes in her career? Oh! I'm sorry, you're right. You know what? I've been making a lot of new changes here at the agency that I'm just so excited about. That's really great, Jonathan. It's actually on your site that you're trying to get the agency certified. Uh, what are you getting certified in? Uh... <laughs> Hello? Your certificate's approved. Really? I already got it? Yes, we just need you to come into hmm. ONG to get it. Of course! I'll send someone from the agency personally. It be you, actually. Me? That's right. For me? Of course! Bye! Bye! A certificate for top environmental agency! <laughs> Woohoo! I really got it! Is it okay if I continue this conversation tomorrow? Okay, thanks. Goodness, but. But I really wanted to know about the third step in the new face's career. That's beautiful, girly. Super trendy with that new bag. And with the super trendy new hat, we're gonna be a hit. And does this belt tighten? Look at how nice it makes my waist look. Trendiness overload, girl! This totally trendy necklace is the finishing touch to my look. <laughs> <laughs> now I'd like to know who knows nothing about mm -hmm. trendiness, Madam Camille. Where are you guys? I'm waiting. <gasps> Let's go, G. We agreed to meet up with Valen and we can't leave her hanging. Yeah? Yeah, to count all of the money again and see if we can finally afford to buy that new telescope. But is a telescope trendy? <laughs> of course, it's more than just trendy. It's an old dream of ours. Let's hurry up, valen has been waiting for a while. Mm. Fabulous space. Guys, we almost have all the money we need. Our telescope is on its way. Isn't it incredible? Incredible are those super cute shoes from Few Few that the site just posted. Oh, have you seen them, Clara? They're super trendy. I saw. And what about the Braga boots? They're everything. But apparently they've been sold out everywhere. Ladies, I'm trying to talk about our telescope here, 
Haven't you been listening to me? I'm sorry, Valen. We're both hooked on this new site, Fashion Now. It's a super mega trendy site. Fashion Now is going to help all of us keep up with all of the new and latest trends. Look at this. Here's one more trend. The rose bangs that Jewy Lemon had in her new collection. So trendy. I think it's a bit much. But we know you've always loved bangs, Valen. No, I think this whole trendiness thing is a bit much. Can we please go back to talking about our plan? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Of course, uh, yeah, the plan. What plan was that? The plan to buy your telescope, G. G, you said you had some money saved up from your allowance <gasps> so you can help us buy the... You know what? Just forget it. Well then, guys, please excuse me. It's an event for the family of the new face. We've arrived. What now? What's going to happen? Well, it's written here that the tea time was to network and that you would continue talking about the next steps to take in the girls' careers. Oh, wow. The biggest steps. Incredible. Super interesting ones. Right? Honestly, this was supposed to be Jonathan's event to explain it all to you, but he was invited to speak at the ONG today. Today, I've come to talk about something very important. People in fashion can and have a duty to help change the world. And not only through trends, colors, and creativity, but also through sustainability. Yeah! So you don't uh, want it now? I need uh, to know if you're going to be any longer. No. It's okay. Well, then hurry up. Uh, really, I'm on the way. Fine, then. I swear I'll be there really it's soon, Mom. It's just that I still need to see the optometrist. Oh, look! It's the new Braga boots that have been sold out everywhere. <sighs> Don't forget to tag me. What tone of voice, Camille? What tone of voice? Oh, no. I'm great. Really. You don't sound great. I guess you're everything. Okay. I swear it, Mom. What about those boots? What difference does it really make if the boots happen to be two sizes smaller than my feet? They're still so trendy. Yes, it's trendy thing again. That's just it, Mom. I'm trying to do everything I can to follow these trends. You know what I mean, That's Mom? Right. The trends can't break uh. your The important thing about shooting is the model's expression. You have to try mm -hmm. to convey the face that clothes are trying to represent. Clara, that's beautiful. Camille, more attitude, girl. I want to see the twinkle in your eyes. Now, Camille that shoots like an absolute great, natural. Clara. Whoa there, stop a second. I thought you both were supposed to be wearing the complete look from Vivian Rosanova. What shoes are you wearing? They're Braga boots. Trendiness overload. <laughs> I added a little personal touch. I think that Clara as the new face is much better than Camille. I don't know. That girl looks like she's really suffering a lot. How can somebody suffer when they're wearing a pair of shoes like that, though? Those are authentic Braga. Oh, please excuse me for not showing up yesterday. That won't happen again. This new face week really is very important to me. It's OK. It all went well with Zach. And all of us had a lot of fun. I'd say so. Come on now, Marsha. That face is just beautiful. It's a total hit. That's very good, ladies. Gorgeous. That's it. One more. I should say, I'm sure that we had a great time. <laughs> oh, can you excuse me just a minute? Jonathan speaking. Jonathan, we saw your speech on conscientious consumerism and we just loved it. Did you write it? I sure did. Well, now, we have a great proposition for you to consider. What do you think of coming to join us and working for the ONG as a consultant? Me? Uh, but how? I already have a job. Yeah, but this way you could begin helping other agencies in the same manner that you helped Glitter models. My gosh, that sounds amazing! I do need an answer as soon as possible to get you the signed contract, okay? Okay, I promise I'll think about it. Perfect. I'll give you a call. I hope so. The world really does need me. I can help people. But this place is my home. It's my life. Hey there, Jonathan. I just came to let you know I'm leaving now. You all right? Ah, oh, no, yeah. I just received an offer for a job that can change everything. Change the world. Oh, yeah? A representative from ONG called me. They want me to help other agencies get their certificates the way I did with Glitter. Yeah? Well, you did some really great work here. 
And I know I can make a difference in other agencies too, but this agency is my life. Ay, 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 I don't know what to do. Give me advice, Zack. Uh, me? The blush needs to be very light. Always apply it from the bottom up. Always be careful not to put too much. I'm sorry. Be careful can not I just to make a your quick face look at my phone? Over. It's probably you a new should trend. should always keep that in mind. Please wait just a second. I'm almost done with class. Now close one eye. The shadow will add lovely contouring to your eyelid if you use the right tone. Uh, can I please take a quick look at my phone? It's urgent. It's from the Fashion Now site. So trendy. You know what? You can look at whatever you want. I give up teaching you guys <gasps> anymore. <gasps> Whoa, what happened to her? Well, she got tired of your cell phones going off and all of you chattering about trendiness. And to be honest, girls, this whole thing has gotten out of hand. What do you mean, out of hand, Mama? Money, money, yes. It's what I want. I'm gonna shop. Money, money, yes. I'm gonna shop until I drop. Money, money, yes. It's what I want. I'm gonna shop. Money, money, yes. Gotta spend it all. Trendy and modern shopping makes me happy. And I buy it all now. All that I can carry. Glasses and bags. They look so good with these boots. The perfect accessories. Oh, how we look so cute. Money, money, yes. It's what I want. I'm gonna shop. Money, money, yes. I'm gonna shop until I drop money, money, yes. It's what I want, I'm gonna shop money, money, yes. Gotta spend it all. Money, money, yes! <laughs> oh! Uh, have you seen what was posted on the Fashion Star site a second ago? What happened, girl? I have everything from that store. You're not gonna believe it! They're pre selling all of the new collection from Gloria's Secret with autographs from the Boom Lord. Who Come is on, really here hurry. in the city? Oh, no! Oh, wait for me! Wait up! Oh, I have got to take these shoes off! Oops, my bad. Hey! Mm. Ho! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys aren't gonna believe this! Oh, wow. What happened to you guys? Trend, Trend shopping. shopping! Talk quickly, Valen! Did you find out something new about the fashion world? The fashion world? No. It's much better than that. Sit down. Tomorrow will be the big Friday sale everywhere. The Friday sale everywhere, guys. The mega huge sale of every single store throughout the city. The biggest Friday of the year. Oh, yeah? But I thought you really didn't care for things like shopping. Yeah, so did I. Since when do you care anything about that? Ever since our telescope will be one of the items on sale. Oh, great! Get your tablet out, Valen. Let's take a look at it. My gosh! We're almost there, guys! Almost. Oh, gee! What about the money you're gonna help out with? We only need a little more. Uh, um... About that money, uh... I said I would add some of my allowance to help buy it, but the thing is I just spent all of it buying trendy stuff. Well, gosh, gee, Clara... I know the money wasn't mine, but I thought buying a telescope was a dream for all of us. But it's not. Just look at you guys. Oh. It's all right. It must be great following the trends. But just buying and buying, then running out and buying even more just to impress Camille seems a little strange to me. Haven't you guys realized that yet? No. Yeah. It's... Um... <laughs> Looking at it from that point of view, it doesn't seem pretty strange. We never needed any of this stuff before to be happy. Even when I was chosen to be a model, what mattered wasn't my look. According to Jonathan, it was my shine. And the truth is that every girl has her own shine. A natural shine that doesn't depend on what she wears or what trends she follows. That's so true, but we completely forgot about that. Every girl has her own beauty. But I think this was really my fault because I couldn't handle being teased by Camille. And in the end, it's all silliness, right? You're absolutely right, Valen. We don't actually need any of this stuff. We don't need to follow trends. I don't even know what to do with any of these things. But I do. Go on, Zach. I know you have something that you really want to ask me. Well then, have you made a decision? I haven't, it's a tough decision. I love what I do. 
but on the other hand, it's incredible to know that I can make a difference. Hello? Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Clara. Valentina had a great idea to close out the new face week at the agency. I love any new idea. Why don't you tell me all about it? Ta-da! A clothing and accessory trading session. We can all bring things we don't use and trade for the things we need. And Camille even pitched in, too. She's trading the Braga boots with me. How are you so generous, Camille? Well, the truth is that I really hate those boots, okay? They actually gave me huge headaches. Isn't it just great? Incredible! You're the best boss of all the best bosses in the whole entire world! Oh. <laughs> oh, as far as I know, I'm actually your first boss. Can I get in on all this happiness that's going on? Yes! Jonathan brought some great things to hand in for our trade sale. And look at this, Dad! A telescope? Who would have thought? It's always been our dream. Thank you so much, Jonathan. No, Valentina. I'm the one who's thankful. I'm very thankful to all of you showing me that it's possible to make a difference working in fashion, and only in fashion. This trade sale idea was ingenious. I love glitter, and I'm going to stay here for a long time. Hi, it's Jonathan. Yes? I've thought about it, and the truth is I'm very thankful, really. But I can't accept the job because I'm just... Looking at all the beautiful stars and surrounded with my best friends is, is super trendy, trendiness to the max. <laughs> <laughs> Glamour, 